William Pickering. My great-grandfather was born in Yorkshire, England in 1798. He didn't know what to do being a civil engineer. That's what he graduated as. And so he decided to come to America. And he got on a tramp steamer, had a few dollars, and he got over to the United States. He ended up settling in Illinois. And he started a little business there. He got on a farm, got into the Illinois legislature, met a gal, got married, had five sons. During that time, he became very acquainted with Abe Lincoln because he was in the Illinois state legislature. And he and Lincoln used to visit back and forth. And so when he nominated Abe Lincoln for president of the United States, and of course, as you all know, Lincoln became president of the United States, he then turned around and offered my great-grandfather United States ambassador back to England or Washington territorial governor. He took Washington state, Washington territory, wasn't a state, it was just a territory, governorship. He came out here on a train, settled in Sequalami, right where the falls are. He came to Issaquah from Sequalami, where he had a little house and run his business as governor, to Issaquah in 1865. He thought this was the most beautiful valley he'd ever seen in his life. It was not Issaquah, it was called Squawk Valley. He settled here in Squawk Valley, built a little house, a little barn, and started a farm because he had acquired through school property for a dollar and a half an acre, 160, 160 acres. His son, William Jr., who was here at that time, acquired under homesteading, another 160 acres, so it made a total of 320 acres they had. And he met a lady by the name of Sevilla that had just came out from Missouri on a train and came to Issaquah, or Squawk Valley, and the two met, and they got married and had three little boys, William, Royal, and Ernest. And they were in the process of building this barn, and my great, my grandfather, who was my grandfather then, uh, William Jr., died at the age of 58. So that left my grandma and three little boys with the manage that 320 acres and all that farm, and they had one heck of a time.